everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title of today's video I will be donating my hair my hair is about to my tailbone a little longer and I'd like to cut it to around there so a good portion I'm not sure how many inches that is and I just am wanting a change I've had very long hair and been growing my hair out for a long time and well it was a fun journey I just want to go a little shorter but still have long hair. And this is how my hair looks from the front. As you can see, I'd like it a little bit shorter. I'm thinking about taking that much off, so however many inches that is, that's what we'll do. These are the ponytails that I'm going to donate. I haven't measured them, but I would say it's more than originally I was going to do. It looks like five or six inches. It's crazy, but I'm so glad I did this and I can't wait to give this to the environment for a great cause. And here are the results from my haircut. So my hair is now somewhere between waist and hip, and I absolutely love this length. It's still really long, but it's a little more practical. Gives my hair more thickness and volume and more movement. And so you are probably wondering, why does the title say donating your hair to oil spills? What the heck does that mean? And so this brings me to Matter of Trust. I found this amazing eco-friendly organization and they have a hair donation program. So their hair donation program is also called their Clean Wave program. So this is really cool. They make hair mats to help clean up oil spills. If you think about it, your hair collects oil, right? That's why we shampoo our hair. So it makes sense that hair is just naturally attracted to oil. And so this is the frequently asked question page and it says, what lengths of hair, kinds of fiber can I donate? So they really like ponytails that are at least three inches or longer. And this makes this a great place to donate to if you do not want to donate, say, 10, 12 inches like most other donation places. Additionally, they will take hair of any length. If you don't want to donate a ponytail, you can just donate the clippings. And it's really cool because you can also donate other things like fur, fleece, and even laundry lint. And so donating is quite simple. You just need to make an account on the Humsum first. And after you sign up, you just upload a photo of your donation and a brief description of what you are donating. And then you will just wait for a recipient to respond, usually within 24 to 48 hours. And from there, they will send you an address to send your donated hair to. And then from there, you can collect your hair and put it in a Ziploc bag. And then you will put the bag of hair into an envelope and mail it out to the address that was provided to you. And you also want to make sure that your hair is clean and debris free when sending it out. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you are interested in donating your hair and helping the environment, be sure to check out the Matter of Trust Clean Wave program. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified when I post. And as always, peace, love, and long hair, and I'll see you on my next video. 
Bye, guys.